How is it going guys and welcome back to another power up video and uh, talk about the future I suppose and we're also going to be talking about movesets and how does it work. I don't, I can't give you 100%. I've evolved quite a few Pokemon. Um, let's just go ahead and, and take a look at my evolutions really quick. There you go. Uh, 6,947. So I mean, I've evolved plenty of Pokemon to see a slight pattern. I can't say this for certain, this is how, you know, that you're going to get a move that you want, but I'm going to show you the pattern. So, before we talk about the gyms, uh, before we talk about uh, other stuff, I'm just going to go right down to Tyranitar before we power up. Uh, we're going to make another Tyranitar right now, guys. Okay, this rock event has been very good to me. Uh, I've caught a bunch, uh, so we're going to go ahead and evolve it. So we know it's a 95. So let's take its name, let's bring it, put it right back to normal so we don't have any changes. It's back out. All right. Okay, not saying, like I said, I don't know if the name change helps. I Who knows? So going into this, what do I want? What do I want in the end game for my um, Tyranitar? What moveset? Well, to be honest, I want the moveset that I see right there. I want Bite and Crunch. And so, does that mean I'm not I'm going to get it, or I'm not going to get it for Tyranitar? Who knows? What what's really what we have to look out here for is in its second stage. We got to look at those moves, and we can look at these moves right now. And when it's fully evolved, we'll we'll see what's going on here. So I'm going to uh, I was going to turn on Lucky Egg, but nah. All right. Um. Okay. So we see Bite and Crunch. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and evolve it and see what we get. Okay. Pipitar. So we have Rock Smash Ancient Power. So the first stage had Crunch and Bite. So, hmm, I'm wondering what it's really going to get. What do I want? I want Crunch and Bite. What do I want secondary wise? I want Bite and Stone Edge. I do not mind Iron Tail. Don't want another Fire Blast. Really. Uh, this is, you know, I've collected, I went all over town collecting these things, so it's, it's only been one day, so if it keeps it up like this, I'll be able to make like two more. So anyways, let's go ahead and evolve them, see what moves we get, and see if we notice any patterns here, okay? So here we go, guys. Let's go. Second one, 95% IV here. Oh no, Fire Blast, it's the same moveset. See, so there you go, there you have it. There's really, you know, it's kind of hard just to predict what moves you're gonna get. There's really no way you can predict it. <laughs> so, there's my second Tyranitar. All right, we have the, another uh, Fire Blast. Um, I'm really, really holding myself back right now from being like annoyed by that. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, boy, Fire Blast. All right, guys, that's just like, yeah, let's go. Man, okay, anyways, let's power up this Blissey and talk about the gyms really quick. So with the gym rework, they said what? That there's going to be a limitation for Pokemon. So let's break it down. Basically, that means no, like you can't put more than two Vaporeons or you can't put more than one. We've talked about this before. So hopefully, we're looking for hopefully only one type of each Pokemon. So you can only put one Gyarados, one Vaporeon, one Dragonite, one of anything, okay, into that gym. Um, anybody. And so basically, somebody drives by, puts in a Dragonite. You're not going to be able to put a Dragonite in that gym. You're going to have to pick something else. If you put a Dragonite in one gym and there's, another, and there's no Dragonites in another gym, you can put it in because there's no... Dragonite in there. All right, so we have that cleared up. So we have all these gems right now at the moment. We're going to power this up. Let's power it up once. Well, we're going to use all these candies, actually. But 
we have all these gyms sitting out here with Snorlax, 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 Gyarados, Gyarados, Vaporeon, all in the same gym. Most of these gyms with one Pokemon. Blissies, right? So what are they going to do with gym rework? Are they just going to leave those gyms there and then make people take them down and then it'll become a new gym? I don't think so. I mean, if the gym rework is calling for a limitation of Pokemon in the gym, let's power it up again. A limitation in the gym, then you would think that all these gyms are going to get demolished and just they're going to turn white. Uh, they're going to just be blank, like when the game first came out. Either that or the gym style might even change completely. The gyms might look completely different. We don't know. But what I'm trying to get at is, you know, it makes sense that the gyms are going to just be demolished because there's no, you know, they're reworking it. So why would you keep all those botted, broken uh, gyms that go against everything that the new gyms call for. See what I'm saying? So look forward to that. Hopefully those gyms are gonna we're gonna wake up after this rock event um, That's when I think the gym rework is gonna happen probably either the last day of the event the day after the event or a week after the event It's gonna be coming this month guys and today's the 19th So we only got a few more days of this month. So we're looking at a big change soon so that's what I'm thinking of that. So we talked about the moves. Uh, you seen clearly that my that what I was talking about is kind of makes no sense there because it had bite and crunch, and it, it went over and it had another move set. Now it has bite and fire blast. There was no way to predict that it would get that. Every time I evolve something, the first move or the second move, they never really seem to pass over. It's, there's been like one case maybe where it's passed over. Other than that, it's always changing. All right, so we powered that up. We powered up the Blissey. We evolved the Tyranitar. Um, man, I can't... <laughs> Thank God for this event. I'm going to go out there and collect so many more Lavatar candies. Oh, wow. At least it's a 95, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's go to Ampharos. We're going to power him up. I have 10 candies. Yeah, let's get him up. Let's see what he can reach. There he is. Zeppo, that's what I named him. Yeah, he's my buddy right now. Uh, all right, so I've got a few candies from walking and I caught one uh, this morning. Yeah. So let's go ahead and power him up. Looks like we might reach 18, maybe. Nope, we're not. All right, so he's getting up there, guys. That's awesome. All right, so that's it for the, the move talk. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's really hard to predict, guys. I try to explain it the best that I can. Basically, if you're in your third stage, and for instance, the Pokemon has three stages, and you're in your third stage, or the second stage, and... The Pokemon has two of the moves that it can learn in the next stage. Chances are you're not going to get those, basically. Basically is what I'm trying to say. Uh, if it has two moves that it doesn't have when it evolves, say that the third stage can't even learn it, uh, but it has the move that it can learn it in the next stage for its first set, for its first attack, chances are it's going to change. It's not going to just stay Dragon Breath. That was an example. Anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Uh, get off my chest, let you guys know, and I wanted to tell you one more thing that I failed to say. I've said, I think I said it in the egg video at the end yesterday, but make sure you save your, your um, berries because you're going to have to start feeding your Pokemon soon. And uh, if you don't have any berries and you have a whole bunch of Pokemon in gyms, I think they're going to get like removed. So make sure you hold on to, don't hoard like, you know, hundreds of berries or anything. It's, you know, modest like 20 of each, 15 of each. Um, I have the habit of just tossing them all the time. So that's uh, that's a problem for me. I need to hold on to some more. As you can see, the rock event is giving out quite a few rock Pokemon. Wow. Oh, oh my. What? Whoa. What? Do you guys see all the Geodudes? <laughs> wow. I didn't, well, I need to transfer these. Let's transfer these right now. I didn't realize I had so many. My goodness, Go Plus is a, 
It's a wonderful thing. All right, so I guess they're easy to catch. They don't want to... Maybe I should check the IVs on these things, but uh, that'd take forever. So we're just going to... Man, their CP is nice. Wow. Okay, Geo, dude. 43 transferred. Holy smokes. It's quite a bit. All right, so, uh, you know, that, that about does it. Um, let me think. Was there any other Pokemon I wanted to power up? Before I take off, I wanted to max this out. <laughs> but that ain't happening now that I made another one with the same moveset. What? That's intense. Um... That's all right, though. I mean, whatever. He's, I mean, it's good for attacking, but putting that thing in a gym, <laughs> it's not the best uh, idea ever. Um, so, yeah, that about does it, guys. Uh, we can look forward to this. Hopefully, the gyms are going to get all knocked out and uh, everything becomes wiped clean. So, did I want to power him up? Yeah, we'll, we'll give him a power up. Bring him up to 23, seeing that he's a 100%. Cool. All right, slow king, or should I say king slow? With Blizzard. And yeah, I think that about wraps it up. So yeah, guys, um, I hope that made sense for you. I hope you enjoyed those few power-ups, Most, mostly just me talking. So uh, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Take care. Thanks for watching.